Hello students. So today we will discuss about the topic mutations and genetic code. Means actually in this topic we are going to see how mutations will help us to understand the genetic code. So the mut mutational studies will help us in understanding of this genetic code. And already you have studied about uh, mutations and I hope you know what mutation is. It is uh, a sudden discontinuous change in the genotype or phenotype of an organism due to change in the gene or due to change in uh, uh, the chromosome that is called uh, mutation okay what is mutation once again it is uh, okay a sudden discontinuous change in the genotype or phenotype of an organism because of uh, the change in the gene or in the chromosome is called uh, mutation. Of course, uh, uh, why it is called discontinuous uh, mutation? Means remember that mutation is uh, another okay uh, phenomena, another phenomena that means in addition to recombination phenomena. Mutation is another phenomena for variation in organisms. And of course, remember only that, that uh, recombination is uh, a regular one, but whereas mutation is uh, irregular one. Means what it, this mutation won't occur, uh, uh, okay, always or frequently. And why this is called discontinuous? Because uh, uh, the recombinations will result in uh, variations continuously. And you can examine uh, uh, your family uh, pedigree. Means what uh, if you observe your uh, ancestors and you will find so many variations from generation after generation. That is due to the recombinations which occur at the time of production of gametes through meiosis. But uh, the mutation will bring a change either in uh, the genotype or phenotype of the organism, but uh, this won't change further. That means in the, uh, it, may, it is inheritable. That means uh, uh, from one generation to other generation uh, it is uh, inherited, but it won't change further. That's why it is called discontinuous. Okay, and uh, uh, now uh, actually uh, we are not uh, discussing about that mutations, but uh, just to, to remind you about the types of mutations, I, uh, I wrote a flow chart here. Okay, the mutations are of uh, three types. Gene mutation or point mutation, if uh, a change is there in the nucleotide sequence or nitrogen based sequence within that gene or in that segment, then we call that uh, uh, mutation as what gene mutation or point mutation in that particular point, which is of uh, two types frame shift mutation and substitution. And suppose if uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, change occurs within the chromosome. Okay, and uh, uh, these are called what chromosomal aberrations. Means what chromosomes will become abnormal, and these abnormalities are called aberrations. And these aberrations may be of four types. It may be due to deletion of a segment of the uh, chromosome, or it may be due to uh, uh, doubling of uh, one segment that is called duplication, or it may be due to translocation. Uh, that means what an exchange between different uh, chromosomes, not uh, homologous, heterologous chromosomes. 
okay that is translocation and uh, inversion is uh, uh, twisting yeah, that means what uh, uh, okay you know this uh, one stand will show uh, 5 prime to 3 prime and other will show 3 prime to 5 prime and uh, in that particular area it may be twisted or inverted that's why it is called inversion these are all uh, called as what uh, chromosomal aberrations that all uh, lead to what uh, uh, sudden changes or abnormalities among uh, the organisms and uh, the other one is genomatic mutation means what here uh, uh, the change is in the genome what is the genome it is uh, the haploid set of chromosomes or the genetic constitution present in the haploid set of chromosomes of an organism is called genome and in that genome uh, some changes may occur and they are of two types if uh, uh, there is deletion or addition of one chromosome to the set it is called aneuploidy and if there is multiplication of the set it is called euploidy and i hope uh, you heard about uh, uh, monosomic condition okay nullisomic condition trisomic condition tetrasomic condition there are what aneuploidy is and euploidy suppose uh, uh, generally the organisms are uh, either haploid or diploid okay i am talking about uh, algal plants which are haploid organisms fungi are also haploid organisms and uh, the gametophyte of bryophytes is uh, haploid okay uh, and uh, uh, you know that uh, from pteridophytes onwards still uh, angiosperms they are all uh, uh, their dominant phase is what a sporophyte and which is diploid and uh, suppose if that diploid organism is becoming uh, tetraploid means what uh, the 2n became what 4n that is what doubling that is called euploidy okay so there is what the, that also results in uh, different uh, changes in the organisms and uh, now in this uh, lesson our focus is not on uh, all these mutations and uh, our focus is on how uh, uh, how to learn about this genetic code and here uh, uh, we can we can uh, take this uh, frame shift mutation okay as an example and uh, uh, for a better understanding uh, you see uh, i have taken this uh, sentence ram has red cap ram has red cap and you just see i wrote uh, uh, this ram has red cap uh, uh, okay uh, spaciously with gaps and this and uh, you might have observed that ram has red cap all are uh, with the how many letters three letters each word here is with uh, three letters means what uh, uh, you we know that uh, in the genetic code is also composed of uh, uh, three letters because we know that uh, code codon is triplet codon so uh, let us say this is one frame ram and this is uh, the second one second frame and this is third frame and this is uh, the fourth frame and suppose uh, let us imagine that one letter has been added here this is what uh, addition and you see i have added one letter b okay so when uh, you add b here that means if you insert uh, the letter b here then uh, you have to rearrange uh, these uh, sentences uh, that means the sentence because uh, every word should have uh, how many letters three letters so that's why now uh, the sentence has changed here we read it uh, very easily ram has red cap which is having some meaning and now you see here uh, with the uh, addition of that and after rearrangement uh, so uh, we have to read it like this ram has b b c a p no meaning and now uh, suppose uh, let us imagine we have added one more letter i so ram has bir u d c a p and uh, suppose we have added one more uh, letter g so you can see that uh, the added letters are uh, i am showing with red color ram has big red cap 
ஆக்சுவலி ரிவ்யூ வந்து மீன்ஸ் ஒன் நியூ ஓகே நியூ வேர்ட் ஹேஸ் பீன் ஆடட் ஹியர் மீன்ஸ் வாட் ஏ நியூ கோடான் ஹேஸ் பீன் ஆடட் and as a result of which what will happen when new codon is added when it is translated a new amino acid will be added and as a result of which the protein will become a different protein so the product will be different means what that, that becomes what uh, a, a mutation okay so here you can see that uh, uh, this is called what frame shift uh, mutation and this is what uh, an example for addition and now uh, let us uh, take another example okay here you see ram has red cap and uh, uh, now what i have done is i have removed a letter r r is removed and then uh, i have rearranged them ram has e d c a p no meaning and uh, uh, in the next time i have removed one more letter e so then uh, we have to read it like this ram has dcap and now uh, uh, the third time i have removed one more letter okay so uh, i have removed the, the here the one letter e and here i have re- removed the, the letter d so totally one uh, letter or one codon is lost okay one codon is lost means what whenever uh, this is translated okay and a protein is formed without one uh, one missing amino acid this is called deletion so ram has dcap and after that we got what ram has cap and what was the original one ram has red cap but now uh, due to deletion it became ram has cap due to addition uh, what has happened ram has big red cap so uh, from this uh, we can understand that uh, uh, the genetic code is uh, uh, a triplet code okay so that's what uh, is about mutations and genetic code and of course uh, i hope you know that uh, the best example for the frame shift mutation is what sickle cell anemia which you have already studied okay